I love my boyfriend, but I'm not so keen on his love of heavy metal. He keeps wearing these t-shirts with skulls and crucifixes. I think it's really sad. Should I grin and bear it or chuck him? <laughs> <laughs> chuck him or handle the heavy metal crucifixes? I think you should grin and bear it if she says she loves him. Really? Yeah. So the clothes does not the man make? No, I mean, if you love a person, you love a person regardless of what they do or what they listen to, don't you? It's more than that. Okay. That's try and change advice. him in the process. <laughs> whip, 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 whip out. Buy him some new records. Listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Misha's advice. Jarvis, this one's for you. Whatever you need from life. I had a collection of girly magazines hidden under my bed, but they've suddenly gone missing, and I'm really embarrassed my mum had found them. I'll never know unless I ask her, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? Go and buy some more, I guess. <laughs> Uh, if, he's, if he's into them, yeah. i just leave it at that. Or get a real girl, you know, that's always <laughs> yeah, that helps. That's, well, that always helps. Maybe he's just getting a bit of practice then, you know. You know, know. <laughs> some pretty clear advice there from both Misha and Jarvis. And now on to tonight's final dilemma, all about a young lady called Penny. What do you want from life? Life jacket. Life. Potato. Life. Straight jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Another game, anyone? No. Count me out. Honey? Oh, yeah, it's not as much fun with tea. Oh, all right. I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to go up to bed. Good night, love. Good night, Mum. Dave was the first guy Mum had been out with since she split up with Dad three oh, years ago. I'll be up in a couple of minutes, yeah. all right? Yeah. I'd never seen her so happy. All right. They got on really well. Oh, I'll clear some of these away, then. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll do it in the morning. But you did all the cooking. All right, then. You wash, and I'll dry. All right. Ow. What's oh. up? Mm, it's too much for a vision. I've been leaning over a desk all day. Come here. Oh. Give you a massage. Just relax. Right. The way he touched me really gave me the creeps. It didn't feel right. I'll leave these here for you then. After that, I just couldn't look at him in the same way. I'm staying round at Alison's tonight, but Dave and I were gonna cook you something special. We wanted it to be nice when we told you our news. What news? We're gonna get married. <laughs> Oh, congratulations. I couldn't believe it. So he must love her after all. I couldn't pretend I was pleased about it, but Mum looked so happy. I decided I'd just have to bide my time. I'd be off to college in a few months. If I could just put up with it for a bit longer, then I could move out and leave them to it. You shouldn't come in here without knocking. Where's Mum? She's having a bath. Listen, Penny, you and me, we've got to talk. In private. Now, I know you're not happy about me and your mum getting married. I don't care what you and mum do. It's got nothing to do with me anymore. What's the matter? What is it with you? You know full well. The way you touch me, the way you look at me. You what? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, Penny, you and me got to start getting along. For your mother's sake. You don't want to upset her, do you? Eh? No, you don't. Well, yeah, that's better. Let's be friends. Come on. Give us a cuddle. Hmm. Well, I for one would hate to be in Penny's shoes. Now, should she tell her mum that her future stepdad is coming on to her or say nothing till she can get away to college? Misha, what would you do? Um, well, I think it's the way it's handled. I think I would definitely go to my mum and, and, and sit her down and make sure she was in a calm state and just basically tell her that I thought he was coming on to me. 
and uh, just tell her straight. And you risk hurting her. This is a man your mother's going to marry. I think that's why it's so important that I have to tell her. All right, mm. okay. Jarvis, do you think she's sort of read the signs wrongly, misconstrued his actions? It didn't look like it. Well, when he was looking at her in the kitchen, that looked a bit pervy, didn't it? Would you yeah. agree? <laughs> But well, she could have stopped it there, then and there, maybe said something. No, that's the only thing with it, if, unless it's like if she's really feeling really sensitive and she has misread the signs, but that if she hasn't misread them, then she does really definitely have to say something about it because you don't want your mother married to a perv. And it's daft to think, <laughs> it, it, bigger than it, it's daft to think, oh, well, I'm going away to college, so it doesn't really matter because, you know, if he's like that, then maybe he's going to look elsewhere or whatever so you just don't want your mother hanging around with something like that what if she kept quiet went to college maybe he would change or does a leopard never change its spots a leopard never changes its <laughs> spots no i think he wants to have a nice little cozy family doesn't he a very cozy yeah. family yeah. He's, he's not cool no he's not cool okay he's crossed the line and what do we think is going to happen do you think penny's going to tell her mother or just leave it chip to college and let them get on with it really I'm hoping she'll tell her mother. She looks very forthright and honest. I think she'll, she'll tell her mum, and I think they're going to have a major row, but I think she's... I hope she's tell her Take mom. the consequences I think she's going to tell her, yeah, because she loves her mother a lot. Okay, okay. Mm. Jarvis, what do you reckon? I think she probably will tell her mum, because... If you went to college with that kind of hanging over here, you just... Mm. You wouldn't be able to concentrate on what you're doing. You're not going to escape from it. It's going to be kind of preying on your mind, and then you're going to have a rubbish time. Yeah, and the fact... So you may as well... You, get it you know you've got to say something about it okay the fact that her work. mother's going to marry this man well the thing is it's not like you go to college and you never see your mother again yeah. it, so they do have holidays don't they yeah. like christmas <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that so i mean she's not going to escape from it that she's going to have to deal with it one way or another right. okay so both misha and jarvis are in agreement on this one it's time to see what penny actually did to resolve her dilemma i told mum what was going on but she didn't believe me she thought he was just being affectionate. They went ahead and got married and I went to college. I hardly ever came home. A year later, she found out that Dave was having an affair with a younger woman. Then she realized I was telling the truth. She and Dave split up and yeah, me and mum did waste a lot of time, but we're really close again now. So there we go. A happy ending in the end. They got there in the end, but like, you know, like she said, her mum didn't believe her, but as you said earlier, mm -hmm. at least she told her. Yeah, and I think you have to risk that, even in friendship, you have to just be forthright and honest. So you tell know. it like it is. You have to tell it like it is. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Well, that's just about it, telling it like it is, except, of course, to thank tonight's two guests, Jarvis Cocker, thanks so much for coming by. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. Good. I'm just glad that things like that don't happen to me in my life. No. I feel like a very boring life. You know, I just go home and eat me chips and beans. <laughs> All right. And Misha, <laughs> thanks so much for coming by. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you join us next week Well, I'll be inviting more of your favourite celebrities to come by and discuss your real-life dilemmas. Who needs soaps when you've got the real thing right here? And here's a look at what's to come.